Hi, I'm Dave Gee. They call me Stuka Dave online. And I want to talk to you about hand launch gliders. They've made millions of these, and a lot of kids have had fun with them. But if any of you have tried launching them with a catapult, which is the hot deal, you found out that what they do is make a big old loop and hit you in the back of the head, and that's it. Now, there's a couple of ways to deal with this. One way is to wear the proper personal protective equipment, but I'm going to show you some dirty tricks to upgrade this glider to a serious catapult glider. Out of the box, it's got straight wings with a little bit of dihedral. It's got a snappy looking pilot, a big rudder, stuff that looks great, but it doesn't help it fly real good. So let's start from scratch on one of these and do some modifications. All the stuff comes out of the package. Of course, the instructions are gone. All right, there's the fuselage. It's a good beefy fuselage. It's got a hook for the catapult. With a catapult launch, you can get a much more consistent launch each time than hand launching it. And you'll find that you don't launch it straight up. You launch it kind of at a shallow angle and usually tilt it a little bit. The first and most important thing is we're going to modify the wing. Because when we give it that shallow launch, we want it to circle up and then roll out and slowly glide in a circle down. Well, this is just not the right kind of dihedral to do that. So you're going to need a pen, some kind of straight edge. You can actually use the other wood from the kit. And you're going to draw a line, oh, about that far from the tip. And it's really not critical how far it is, inch and a half or so. You're just going to draw a line with your pen. It's not that you want the line necessarily, it's that you want to break those fibers in the wood a little bit so that you can gently and carefully snap that wing tip up a little bit. Now once again, it's not critical what angle you do it. Eh, about like that. That's plenty good. If they're not exactly even or they're a little further out or something, the airplane won't know. Just don't tell it. I like to use a little super glue. You can use any kind of glue you want, but you got to do something to hold that in place since you broke the wood fibers. So I put a little line of super glue down there and that'll hold it pretty good. Now, I'm an impatient guy. I'm the kind of guy that yells at super glue to hurry up. So you can use accelerator to make it cure right away. And I get my accelerator, I put it in a little needle bottle like that. So it doesn't spray all over the house and make a smell. Okay, that's dry. All right, now we're gonna make a couple other changes. This elevator will go in just as stock. And you notice this particular model doesn't have a lot of up elevator. Some of them, will come with an awful lot and if that was the case you'd have to take some of that out and make it closer to zero zero angles here. The pilot represents rudder area amidships where we don't want it. We don't need him anymore. You're the pilot. He's gone. Now a critical thing. This rudder is much too big for what we want this plane to do. We want this plane to go really really fast and then slow down and glide slow. Too much rudder isn't going to help. So we need to reduce the amount of rudder. You can use a, a razor blade on a table if you want, or for a piece of sheet balsa like this, scissors will do. This again is not critical, but I'm taking, oh, about a quarter to a third of the rudder off. It's gone. Now we have a much, much smaller rudder on there. Yeah, I think we're ready to rock. Now when you launch this plane, you'll give it a little shallow angle like that and a little tilt one way or the other and it'll depend on your particular airplane which way left or right it wants to turn and the flight pattern we're looking for is it'll go really fast climb in a circle then it will roll out and slow down and slowly glide back down and I'll tell you what it's gonna be a lot different than the flight of the stock one so let's see we got cranked wings altered rudder hey wait a minute no that can't be right Now, we don't have radio control on this model, of course, but free flight is how nature intended our models to fly, and you've got a lot of control over this airplane. This wing slot is much longer than the wing, and you can move it forward and backward, and it will change the balance tremendously. So you want to test glide it a few times until you get a nice, floating, gentle glide. Move the wing backward to make the nose heavier, or forward to make the tail heavier. Then when you start launching it, 
you don't want it to fly in a straight line because you'll just have to chase it. You want it to fly in a gentle circle, either left or right, depending on how the plane feels. And you can affect that by twisting the wing just a little bit like that, either way back and forth. This is not rocket science, this is just aviation. And simple adjustments like that will make your plane fly just how you want it to. So when you launch it, you'll be able to predict exactly where it's going to go and where it's going to land. You can get a long flight off of one of these models. When they make their sharp uh, climbing turn and then roll out and glide gently, they can catch thermal lift and stay up for a long time. When you get to wing exactly where you want it, don't glue it. You want it to be able to bend if it comes down and crashes, but you also want it to be able to put it back where it goes. So what you do is you draw a little line on the wing and then a little cross line like that. Just like that. That way, if the wing gets bumped out of position, hey, no problem, it goes right back there and it's back in trim again. Uh, the tail you can glue. Uh, these pieces, uh, it's okay to have them in one place because they're not going to get bumped like the wing, but the wing might hit a tree or something like that. Now, in stock configuration, this plane will fly about five seconds. But with these modifications, it can fly much, much longer. In fact, I had one stay up almost two hours until I was able to borrow a ladder and get it down out of the tree.